a teenager, he sensationally beat Roger Federer at Wimbledon. It earned him the nickname Super Mario. It would be the beginning of a glittering career. Then, just as he was enjoying a regular place in the top 10, disaster struck. In 2007, Mario Ancic was diagnosed with mononucleosis. I was having uh, fevers, I was having uh, a bad throat, uh, I was dizzy on the court. I was, you know, feeling very bad, but I continued to play and I've been playing and it's just my body really came to the end and uh, my immune system was destroyed. Uh, I got later also the thyroid problems and, you know, I was a little bit unlucky with a couple of things when I tried to, get, tried to come back and uh, but, you know, and, and the most important is that, that it's finished now. Two, three years, you can say that he was playing, not playing, uh, he was injured, sick, uh, and different things. And, like, last, uh, last year he, he got uh, pretty bad, so he didn't play for nine, ten months. And, uh, and it's not easy to, to get back into it really quickly. The illness threatened to end a career, but the Croatian wasn't going to let it get the better of him. He launched a comeback in 2008, reaching the quarter-finals of his favourite tournament. Many people remember me for beating Roger, but I see myself much bigger success was when I played semi-final and I played twice quarter-final at Wimbledon and I show how good I can play. Cruelly, it proved a false dawn. He would miss almost the whole of 2009. Studying law at university kept him focused, he even wrote a thesis on the ATP. I know this of organization from inside and outside. Now, given a clean bill of health, Ancic is back on the road. His aim, to return to the top of the rankings. Time on court is key, and he's playing both doubles and singles at every opportunity. At the moment, it's, uh, you know, I did all the preparation, everything, just to come at this level. And now it's uh, you know a lot of matches practicing on uh, you know week after week practicing with the top players again, and uh, you know I believe that everything's going to be fine and the results will start coming. Hopefully he's gonna he's gonna do well on other other tournaments also grass where he plays better. And then after summer is coming, which is uh, suiting him a little better than these conditions, a little tougher, very very slow and. Uh, and not easy to play aggressive, so I think he's going to need at least 10, 15 more matches to get back to his uh, consistent play. You know, it's still a lot of up and down in my game, but uh, considering uh, everything I went through, that is uh, normal, and uh, I have to stay patient and uh, uh, work my way up. Sometimes, of course, it's it's not easy. Sometimes, uh, you know, you're a little bit frustrated, but uh, you know, I'm very motivated and. Uh, I want to do it. Playing for his country has always been important to him. Ancic part of a Croatian golden generation. We have great players. Goran Perpic, then, then Goran Vanisovic, and then uh, Ljubicic, me, Karlovic, Cilic. We really, we really can say that we are a uh, tennis big nation in the world, even though such a small country. I think we are all, um, you know, growing up really hungry to, to succeed and and, uh, and do well and find our way into the, you know, into the world through tennis. Tall, big servers, good at the net, good on grass. Is there something in the Croatian water? From generation to generation, you know, I was looking up for sure at Goran, who is my size and who had a tremendous, huge serve, so of course I worked more on that and I'm sure that most of the other guys was the same, And uh, but uh, yeah, also the, the height helps and you have to be aggressive and that is our way to play. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think it's a lot to do with, uh, with the height. Mario is back playing in London this summer. A good showing at the Aegon Championships and then at Wimbledon the target. Could we be witnessing one of the greatest comebacks in tennis history? I started with, without now no points and I'm working my way back. Uh, of course, I'm looking towards the top spots in the 
in tennis, but I, you know, I have to be realistic that it takes now a lot of time, a lot of matches, a lot of hard work. You know, keep my fingers crossed that everything will be good with the health. Next week on ATP World Tour and Covered, an all-star liner by heading to London's Queen's Club as the grass swing gets going at the Aegon Championships. And we take a drive along Chelsea's King's Road with one of the most elegant players on tour, Richard Gasquet on France, football and that famous backhand. Until then, don't forget to log on to ATPWorldTour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.